see. So, yeah, it looks a little weird. That's because, that's right, I'm pumping. <laughs> and no, I don't have a willow or whatever. I got the traditional pump with the bottles hanging out here and all of that. <clears throat> but this is my Spectra 9S. So this is the whole pump thing. This is how kind of portable it is. At any rate, the time is now, what, 5.18? I have to pick my kid up by 5.30. And I need to pump. My meetings ran long. I didn't get to pump um, when I wanted to. So I'm trying to pump now. This is what you call uh, multitasking at its finest. So um, at any rate, um, when I get there, I'll, I'll take the cups off when I get there. I still have about 10 minutes. I'm about 10 minutes away, so I'm going to be there like right right on time. So, anyway. Um, what did I want to say? So, I haven't filmed. I haven't done a seven-month update. Um, I think I did a six-month, but I haven't done a seven-month update. He's about to be eight months. Sorry. It's been busy. I'm rounding out my fifth week back to work. This is um, Jaden's fourth week in daycare. He's been doing really well. It's a private sitter. He's been doing really well um, at the sitter. Um, it's just that like when I dropped him off, he wasn't crying or anything. And then when I pick him up, he doesn't smile like he missed me. A lot of stuff. So um, this morning, when I dropped him off, he actually tried to cry um, as I was dropping him off, which he had not done. So that was like kind of crazy and got me all like emotional, like, oh, he doesn't want to leave me. I think he might be going through a leap. I have to check to see if he's going through a leap right now. Um, as far as his seven months, he has two teeth. He hasn't cut any additional teeth yet. Um... He is still army crawling, although he gets up on his hands and knees and rocks. Uh, I don't know, for some reason this went dark on me, but um, he gets on his hands and knees and rocks, but he doesn't like crawl, crawl. He's pulling himself up to a standing position. So I guess he's working on his walking. He's pulling himself up to standing and he's climbing. So, he likes to stand more than he likes to sit. So, he obviously can sit up on his own. He's been eating solids for almost two months now.
as far as solids, uh, I think I would have put some clips in um, prior to coming into this video about what he's tried and whether he's liked it or not. As far as I'm concerned, he's liked everything. I think the only thing he's had a little trouble with were sweet peas, and I think they had more to do with texture than taste, but he eats them. It's not his favorite thing. He loves avocado. And um, I think the bananas might be too much sugar because that seems to flare up his skin condition. And maybe the yogurt um, tends to flare him up just a teeny tiny bit. Um, one other thing on the breastfeeding at this point is since he's been going to care, his appetite has really kicked up. And I have been struggling to keep up with his appetite largely due to the fact that after I ovulate and I've already mentioned how I've had my cycle since 11 weeks postpartum after I ovulate I want to say maybe five days after five or seven days after when that progesterone kicks way up my milk production goes way down like almost nothing like I can pump first thing in the morning and barely get two ounces from both boobs it's horrible I get absolutely nothing he is ferociously hungry um and I used to be able to supplement him with frozen milk and now he has completely depleted my entire stash um since he goes to daycare so he gets three six ounce bottles so what I decided to do this particular week Hopefully the pump is not making too much noise. But what I, I've decided to do this particular week is send him with two, two breast milk bottles and um, and one um, one formula bottle. Now there's nothing wrong with giving the baby formula. I struggled with this decision because. I was very strong in my conviction to make sure that he had milk, uh, breast milk, for the first year of his life. Um, and I, it really disappointed me to have to go to formula, but a fed baby is a healthy baby. And I have to think of my mental health as well. And trying to keep up the pumping schedule while working is already difficult. And then the fact that my milk takes such a dip for like a week um, right before my cycle starts makes that even more difficult. So it's just impossible for me to keep up. So this is what I have to do. And considering that I'm not really getting that far ahead with just one bottle... I am also dreading the fact that when my milk supply does dip, he's probably going to get almost all formula until my milk supply comes back. And it seems like he might be having some slight reaction to the milk. So he has some slight, he gets a little flush in his cheeks and a slightly itchy. So I don't know. It's difficult. Uh, so. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm dealing with some disappointment with that, but, you know, I'm blessed. I was able to exclusively breastfeed him for seven, almost eight months. Um, some women want to do that and can't. And, um, you know, I'm blessed that I've been able to do it this far. But at the same time, I'm disappointed that I have to resort to this but I'm not ashamed of it I'm not um, mad I'm just disappointed a bit in my body that it's just not producing and no matter what I do or how I trick it I can't seem to get my milk production up um, to overproduce from what I've been producing before so <sighs> Um, it is what it is. I think my body has sort of leveled off with him. And um, it, it is what it is. So I have to live with that. So um, I'm just going to call this his seven, eight month update because he'll literally be eight months 
in two days. So this is what he's doing now. He can pick up um, foods with his uh, little fingers. He's been doing that. That's a milestone as well. He still doesn't mimic. Um, I guess that's a concern of mine, but he's, he seems to be doing everything else. You know, he when you mimic what he's doing, he stops what he's doing and then laughs. So he does know that I'm mimicking him, but he doesn't try to mimic me. Um, I don't know if that's normal. I think the next appointment at the pediatrician, I'm going to bring it up. So, and see what she says because if that's something I should be concerned about. Um, the pediatrician, they do specialize in like autistic children and stuff like that as well. So, um, you know, I don't know if that's an early sign or something or if he's just on his own wavelength, you know, um, and doing his own thing. So, but other than that, I mean, he's incredibly alert. Uh, he loves to look around. He appears to be, you know, quite intelligent and, um, you know, I'm proud of my little bug. <laughs> um, he's, I guess, you know, you, you look at all these things and he doesn't hit every single thing. But one thing that I do see that's repeating is not every baby is going to do everything um, and or at the same time. So they kind of just do what interests them most. And so I think he's just on his own wavelength and it is what it is. He'll probably be fine talker he appears to be very vocal he's been very vocal lately so he'll probably be a talker as well <sighs> all right um i have ugh, two minutes <laughs> i'm right here but i got two minutes to to go and get my baby so <sighs> The multitasking, the rushing, just everything. Uh, it's just a lot. But uh, we do what we have to do, right? Um, this pumping thing is uh, an extra added thing that occasionally gets on my nerves. But I do it for my baby. I do it for my baby, right? <laughs> All right, ladies. So I'm going to sign out here so I can... Uh, take these puppies off and pick up the baby on time. All right. All right <laughs> Sticky baby. That's all the CTC